Hey guys, it's Lego Channel 62, and today I'm making a video showing you guys some of the Lego Ideas projects that have just been reviewed and are going to become actual sets. And I'll show you about them and what they're kind of about. And then I'll show you my thoughts on them and what I think they'll be like in actual sets. So let's get right into this. So to start off, we have the results for the third um, wave of 2016 Lego Ideas sets. And these were all ones that have gotten 10,000 supporters and have been reviewed, and only one of these is going to be an actual set. So, if you look at the rest of them, there were 12 of these, including some, some of them that were the Hulkbuster UCS, UCS Ray Speeder, the Lego Store, Agent of the Shield, the Bus, and many more. And the only one that was approved was the Ship in a Bottle, the Leviathan. And this looks really, really cool. I'm really excited for this to come out, and I'll show you more about it in the next picture. But before we move on to that, I just want to show you about this set. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this set. So this is, I think, from the second wave LEGO Idea set. Um, I'm not sure, 2016. So I think these are just the ones that have been reviewed, not the ones that... Because it says 2016 because those ones were reviewed in 2016, not that they're going to come out in 2016. But this one looks really cool. So we've got the five women of NASA at the top, and then they're all in these little small parts at the bottom, just like we had in the Research Institute. And even though I didn't do this, this, is, this was a bit old. So we got, like, not old, but we got revealed to this a long time ago, so I didn't want to make a separate video for it, so I'm just showing you a bit about it now. It says, Celebrate the History of Women in Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So this was really cool. And so let's get back to the actual video. So this is the ship in the bottle, and it looks really, really cool. I really do like it. I'll show you a couple screenshots while I'm talking about this. So I really do like this, especially the actual bottle part itself. It It's actually pretty hard to make an actual bottle shape out of Lego, so it's really cool how they accomplished to make that and how Lego's actually going to make that themselves. Um, I like how it has all those blue studs at the bottom, and then there's the pirate ship in it. And this looks really cool, so I'll start to review around it, because then I'll, later I'll show you a picture of just the pirate ship, and we can review that. So, looking at the base, the space looks really cool. I like those gold kind of feather pieces at the bottom, and as we start to move up, there's some gold medieval shield pieces. There's a cannon. I think there might even be two cannons in the middle. I'm not sure. And I really like that those grilled parts at the bottom there. There are four glow pieces on e one in each corner, and it looks really cool how it kind of starts to slant up one way and slant up the other way to kind of hold in the bottle. I really like that. And the stand looks really, really cool. I hope they do something like this in the actual set. And looking up at the bottle, they use all clear pieces, and that's what I really like about it. If you look at the top, the cork looks really cool. I like how they use the, um, the railing kind of pieces on the outside of it, and then the rest of them were just normal pieces that were just um, curved instead of curved with some um, shafts sticking in the middle of it, but that looks really cool. I like how they even have the like, chains on the top. I really like that. And then looking over at the bottom of it, the bottom looks really cool. I really like how they did that kind of inverted part at the bottom with that dome piece. I think it looks really cool. And overall, I think this is even a really good scale for it, because if we see now the mini pirate ship, the pirate ship looks awesome, and it's a really good scale, because the bottle and the pirate ship just fit exactly together, and it doesn't make the set too big, and also doesn't make it too small, so th that's what I think about the scale of this. And the pirate ship looks so, so awesome. We see the sails that look really cool, the flags at the top, and the front that kind of sticks sticking out of the front and then the back part looks really cool you see some cannons firing out some missiles that look awesome and yeah so this is really really cool and just how things are going to make it when Lego actually makes it themselves um, I know it will definitely be different so I think they might use less screen pieces definitely and they might make the bottle maybe a bit differently um, but I'm really excited to see how the actual set turns out and yeah, so that's the ship in the bottle, and after this I'll show you one more thing um, from LEGO Ideas. And here we have the LEGO Ideas project Voltron. This was getting 
um, reviewed for a pretty long time, but it's finally been revealed that and or reviewed and it will be a Lego Idea set. And this looks awesome. You can see all the five little lines in front, the blue one, the red one, the black one, the green one, and the yellow one. And these look awesome. I really like how they made these. And I haven't seen the actual show, but I've heard good things about this. And I've also heard that there's a reboot on Netflix right now that's doing pretty good. So I think that gives us a really good time to create a Lego Idea set. But it'll probably come out a lot later than that. So I think that's pretty cool. And so looking at this build, I think this looks awesome. I really like how they have the giant sword. It looks so cool in my opinion. Um, especially the blade. And it's supposed to be Japanese anime, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't think we've ever got any animes in the ideas or just like in general. So, I'm really excited for that. Um, I don't watch much, but the, I've heard good things about them. So, I think that they will turn out as really good sets. Um, so, yeah, these look really cool. I really like, and as a fan of transforming things, I really like how these four... Um, I think they're lions or dogs or whatever they are, can come together to transform into the Boltron. Um, I love that. And how they actually made like little transforming stuff. I think that's really awesome. And um, I actually do some of those on my channel. You can go check those out. Um, and I think this is a really cool set that will turn out really good. So looking at the actual dogs themselves, I think these look really cool. You can see a bit of the stomach from the black dog, and speaking of that, I'll, show, I'll tell you um, what all the dogs will be part of. So the black dog will be the, for the body, the red dog will be for the right hand, the green dog will be for the left hand, the blue dog will be the right foot, and the yellow dog will be the left foot. And so back to looking at these dogs, they look so awesome, I really like the tails when I made them. They're all really similar, except the black dogs a lot bulkier because he has to be a chest and the head. And he even has this kind of um, wing kind of things at the back, I'm pretty sure I'm not actually sure what those are. But they might just be like ends of swords or something, I don't know, but it just looks really cool anyways. Um, so yeah, they have really good designs in it, I like how in the yellow one there's like that grey part in the middle of it, that looks really cool. Um, the blue one has some red and yellow and white designs on it. That looks awesome. I like how they made the heads too. And I'm also really excited to see how Lego's going to recreate this. Because I think that will be really cool to actually get this in a set and see how Lego creates it. Because I don't think they've created anything that really kind of transforms like this. So I think that will be pretty cool. And I think, yeah, so that will be it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And definitely, you know, you know, in the comment section down below, what do you th guys think about these Lego Idea sets? And I don't I really like them, especially like the Voltron one, but that's it. So see you guys later on LEGO Channel 62.